ain't drunk. I'm just drinking. But you're so high. Oh man, you know I ain't high. But you're so high. Yeah, well I just take a little sip every now and then. But you're so high. You ought to be ashamed Stay of yourself. Drunk all oh the come night. on now, you all don't feel like that. Bam! Hey kids, I am back. Happy Monday evening. Oh my goodness. Anyway, first thing I want to say is this, I promised a friend of mine I would do like 20 videos ago and I forgot. Special shout out to my brother, Airborne FPV, and his channel is right there in the corner. He's a friend of mine that actually lives pretty close and we have yet to get together, um, which is my fault because I've just been busy and traveling and, and whatever else. I have not forgot, brother. Um, you and I are going to get together, rip some packs, and, and destroy some quads. Um, but anyway, check out his, his YouTube channel. He's uh, doing a lot of reviews and instructional stuff, and he's trying to get it off the ground. So if you know me, um, go over to his channel, leave a message, say, hey, JJ said, hey, whatever. He's a good guy. Lives just down the road, and uh, where the fuck do you live, dude? Hmm. He lives in Ohio. I don't know, 20 miles south of here. I live just north of Dayton. But anyway. Brain fart. So I am doing a review. It's not a review because I, I haven't even tested them yet. Um, but it is a battery review, which is something I think is kind of Bardwellish. Um, but it's a, and I don't care. I have three rules. I don't know about three. Yeah, kind of. Uh, three rules about batteries for me on on big, you know, quad batteries, not micro crap. Um, today's repair day. I'm doing a lot of stuff. Anyway. Um, they have to be at least 1300 C or 1300 milliamp for my freestyle. You just the weight that I'm used to and things like that. So they have to be 1300 milliamp, at least 80 C, 75 to 80 C, and up is fine. And they have to be below 25 bucks. I have people ask me all the time, "What battery should I get? What should I try? What should I do? What should I do?" And actually, my brother over in the UK today asked me when he saw the. And I haven't answered you yet, bro. You're going to see it in the video. Um, shout out to you. Uh, when I did a little test flight of my Mocha JJ Headhunter, he said, uh, what 3S batteries do you use on that? And I actually use these crap wagons. They're the uh, Ganang. I don't know if you can see that there. G-O-A or whatever. 550 milliamp, 80 to 160C burst, 3S. Love them. I think these things are great. Um, but back to real batteries. Real batteries for real quads. So... I do 1300 milliamp. They have to be at least 75 C or up, preferably 90 or more. Um, and uh, they have to be under 25 bucks. I just think it's fucking stupid to pay. And no offense to anybody, because there's a lot of guys out there that race or really take their batteries seriously, and I don't. Um, it, to me, this is a consumable product. I'm not spending over 25 bucks for one. I'm just not, because I destroy them anyway. So, um, and I always, always, always use this tape on the bottom of this and then on the bottom of my birds let's see let's grab one here it's got one <laughs> i need to update my shit yeah okay we'll just take this guy here it was close um i always use this 3d lock tape i'll put a link to this in the bottom in the description this stuff forget about it bam okay my brother my other brother out in the uk um he lost a brand new battery yesterday i think he said on his test flight of his headhunter I said, dude, get this shit. I have literally flown quads without a strap using this stuff. But don't, I don't advise that. Use a strap, trust me. But use this stuff too. Trust me when I say <laughs> life will be good. Okay, so get some of that. Anyway, so I wanted to try these batteries out because one of the guys in the club quite a while ago, I saw it. Uh, we have a big online chat thing that we keep doing over and over, you know, every single day, 24 hours a day. Special shout out to you, Demi. Uh, glad you're okay after your surgery. But anyway, um, and one of the guys, I saw it in our, our, our chat room, uh, said, you've got to try these batteries. They look cool. I don't think he had tried them, and I can't remember who the hell even told me to do them anyway. Uh, so I did. I said, fuck it. Let's give it a go. 1300 milliamp, 4S. Let's see what we get. This is by Indestructible Quads. These are the Black Label series. Look at it, gorgeous. I don't know if you can see it, it's really hard to see. By Indestructible Quads, ADC, 1300 milliamp, and they're 22 bucks. And they have real heat shrink on them instead of that plastic whiny ass, keep your Bardwell fresh shit. I hate this stuff, it rips off all the time. My tape doesn't stick to it half the time. That's why I wrap electrical tape around it because this tape sticks better to it. 
Yeah, this has real heat shrink over it, which is great. Nice silicon wires, blah, 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 blah. XT60, of course, 22 bucks. Bam, forget about it. Um, yeah, ADC discharge. I don't think it's anything super special. I mean, it's, it's a fucking LiPo. I'm sorry. I think LiPo's, there, it's a, there's a ton of fucking hype in the LiPo world about, oh, ours does this and ours does that and ours is blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I think it's crap. But anyway. Let me get out my JJ Roto Geek $4,000 battery tester. And to prove, see, $4,000. It's called a fucking fluke, Bardwell. Anyway, I'm doing this just for fun. Let's see what their storage capacity is. I just got these in today. I got four of them. 15.49, beauty. Okay, 4,000 bucks. You guys can have it. Just, I'll sell it, 4,000 bucks. So anyway, um, let's see what it weighs, because some people care about that. Um, yeah, I don't know. Let's find out. On the scale that tells no lies, sometimes fibs. We got buck seventy four, and this guy, which is take a gram or two off for that. Yeah, it's a little bit heavier, but it's a little bit bigger too. And it's a higher C rating too, if I remember right. I actually fucked this battery up the other day. Brand new too, so pissed. Uh, that's okay. What happened was I was flying that crap wagon Eosheen split HD cam. What is this? 80 to 110C. I have my doubts about that. Um, actually, they're pretty good batteries. I can't remember where I got them. I think I got them off Amazon of all places, and you can't get them anymore. But this has the real heat shrink on it. It is a little bit larger. Um, so you tell me. Look at, you know, this one's higher, though. I don't know. I think this is going to be a better battery. Yeah, it weighs a little bit more, but mm, unless it's disease, dead, or ass, bigger is usually better. But anyhow, um, 22 bucks. You can't go wrong. I think these were 24, 23, and they're good. These are, well, whatever the fuck these are, Infinities. Okay. I've used their micros quite a bit. Um, but yeah, these look pretty sweet. Um, yeah, it's a fucking battery. I'm sorry. It's. <laughs> I don't do battery reviews. I think batteries are extremely subjective. A long time ago, when I first started the channel, I did some battery charging techniques and tips and things. And... Uh, I had people blast me out of the water. Like, that's not how I do it. You should do it this way. And that's not how I do it. You should do it this way. And blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, really? I parallel charge my batteries a certain way. I don't make sure they're in a special voltage within one millionth of a volt between each other. I don't do any of that bullshit. If I've got them brand new and I've got them, you know, brand new meaning fully charged and I have a couple in storage, I still throw them on the fucking charger all in storage. I've never had a fucking problem. I put a smoke alarm above my charger, bam, fuck it, you know, but everybody has their way and everybody thinks they're right. And just because I'm an electrical guy doesn't mean I'm always right, but I know I haven't blown up or caught on fire. So everything seems to be okay. So there it is. Uh, it's a battery. It's probably good. We'll find out. I'll give it some JJ Roto geeking and we'll see if it blows up. I'll put a link in the description down below for that tape that I use, which probably won't stick to this with shit either. Probably have to tape this one up too. And uh, to these, I think, you know, for 22 bucks, by the way, I live in Ohio. These came in three days. I ordered four of them, came in three days. Oh, and they also sent me three battery straps with the rubbery crap on the bottom. Looks like one of Bardwell's little thongs. It'd be a lot bigger than that, I imagine. Um, yeah, and Velcro, and it's got a little metal clasp, so it don't break. They sent me three. I'm not really sure why they didn't send me four, but yeah, I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Bam, so there you go. Indestructible Quads Black Label. Check them out. Um, I bought mine, I'm gonna try them. Battery's a battery, and the price is right, and the shipping was good. We'll see if they explode. Catch you later, kids. Keep shining side up. Bam, bye. Bam, JJ! Hope you like fishing.